Welcome to what's up y'all, D Prime 215 here for New Japan Pro Wrestling's uh, G1 Climax 30. We had the match of Kazuchika Okada against Shingo Tagaki. Um, my prediction for this match, I'm honestly looking at Shingo Tagaki winning. Now I know some of you might think like, why are you looking at Shingo Tagaki? You know, like, yeah, he's cool, but Okada's the rainmaker, he's the bigger name, so on and so forth. I understand that, you know, normally on any given day, I would say Okada over Shingo. But I feel like Shingo, um, he has a lot more to gain in this G1 than Okada does, right? Uh, Shingo was new to New Japan, but he's not new to pro wrestling at all. He was in Dragon Gate for over a decade. Um, so, like, he's very, very uh, seasoned when it comes to pro wrestling. Um, I think the match is going to be great. I think it's a match that, you know, it's not something I ever would have, like, you know, desired so much if you were to ask me like a match that I didn't see that I would like to see but the more and more I think about it I think this match has a lot of potential so I'm really I'm really really looking forward to it um regardless of whoever wins it's going to be great and I think it has the potential to really put Shingo um in a good position moving forward I would like to see Shingo win the Intercontinental Championship at least a year from now that's outside of this match but once again I'm looking at Shingo Tagaki mainly because I think he has the potential to gain more from this match than Kazusuke Okada. I know Okada is a safe choice, but I'm going with the Dragon over the Rainmaker. So who are you looking at? Are you looking at Shingo Tagaki or are you looking at Kazusuke Okada? Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to yours truly, Deep Prime 215. See y'all again soon. Until next time. Peace.